Hey there, this is Ben Jones, and uh, I feel like an idiot, but you know what? We're gonna we're gonna learn from my mistakes. Um, you see, last last tutorial, I was animating a cube, and it exported. And well, let me show you show you what I got. Um, I got this a wireframe. Um, my texture didn't make it onto my model. Uh, the animation worked before. Um, it's, n it's not animating right now because uh, 3ds Max crashed on me. Uh, so I lost the animation. Um, but I still wanted to figure out what was going wrong with my texture. So here's a couple of things to check if you're getting this. Uh, this wireframe. Uh, first thing you want to check is what I didn't check. Uh, that is to make sure that your material is actually applied to your model. Um, it, mine was, but I, I changed uh, the location of one of my files. Uh, but 3ds Max was able to find it fine for some reason. Um, so it looked fine here, but when I exported it, I got the wireframe. That was the problem last time. Uh, so to fix that, just you know, select your model, select the material, and then click the assign to uh, assign material to selection button, and that fixed my problem. <laughs> so little things. Uh, another thing that you want to check is when you export. So file export, uh, you know, collada.dae. Um, so I'll just name this box tutorial, uh, and click save. Make sure relative paths is on. It's gonna make life easier for you. That way, if you move your your model and you move your texture, so if you move both of them, like to a new folder, uh, the model will still be able to find its texture. Uh, if it wasn't checked, it would be under like C and then like users and like Ben and then like desktop uh, and then I think. AR cube, but anyway, you get it. Like it, it's, it's just relative paths. Um, they're nicer. They work better. Make everything happier. So you just click OK, and uh, I'm sure it'll work now. Uh, there it is. Okay. So. And my computer's being slow. Right. So load mesh tutorial. There it is. It's got its texture. If this wasn't working, um, this is what you'd want to check. So you, you go to your 3D file, and right click on it, and I I download Notepad plus plus. It's a, a great little program you can edit text files really easily with it so just open up notepad plus plus and there's the author Ben um, go down here to library images it's uh, right here and you want to check this right here it's the init underscore from and that's the path to your texture. So like if my texture.jpg uh, was in the same folder as the 3D file, instead of being dot slash images slash my texture.jpg, it would just be uh, dot slash my texture.jpg. I have seen people get rid of it and just have my texture.jpg and that does work sometimes for some reason um, sometimes it doesn't I don't know it's optional um, I also read about someone that had a weird uh, material ID it was like dash default underscore one something something uh, 
try renaming that um, if it doesn't work to something more normal. So you just select it uh, and then do control F and do find and replace, replace with whatever you want. Uh, so if you if you do those things, it, it it should export correctly fine from 3ds Max if you you know make sure your material is assigned and do relative paths, it should be fine. Um, if you have your files organized, you know, so like you have your 3D files and then a folder for images, and then your images in there. Got my images in there. So it should export fine from 3ds Max, but if you have issues, um, try checking just the path under library images to your file. If that doesn't work, then try material ID. And if n neither of those work, you probably exported it wrong um, and go back. 3ds Max and try exporting it again. Um, yeah. So that's how to fix the uh, the problem with the paths. Enjoy.